Hey everybody, it's Michael, the Texas Auction Picker here. Another great Saturday night at the auction. Um, I got the contest winner to announce from last week, but I'm going to make you wait till the end of the video for that. Uh, we're going to start with uh, some of the stuff we got at the auction here. Starting right here, got this set of three matching pillows. They probably came on a couch at one point, but I didn't get the couch wasn't there, just the three pillows. Paid um, real nice looking pillows. Uh, these sell really well at the flea market. I paid six dollars for the entire set. I figure I'll put six, seven a piece on them at the flea market. Got this little end table right here. Gonna have to repair the little magnet on the inside to make sure that the door won't keep going in. But that's a good little end table. Got the little magazine rack on the end of it. I paid, uh, I believe, six dollars for this table. Might have been seven. Good buy either way. It's about a thirty dollar table. I got two very large filing cabinets. Hadn't had filing cabinets in a while and um, hadn't bought any in a while, but the last few weeks I've had several people calling and asking about filing cabinets. So I bought these, got them for $10 a piece. Um, gonna need to repaint them, but these were super, super heavy. Uh, these are really good quality filing cabinets and um, once we paint them, I'm figuring probably about $50 a piece on these. Bought a set of chairs like this. Bought three chairs just like this. Um, they're in real great condition. They were in really good condition. Um, I'm going to put two of them with a table that I've got, and I'll probably sell the third on the uh, on their own. Um, there's the other one, and the other one's right here with this table that we're we're going to put it. Have two uh, mismatched uh, two uh, mismatched sets of chairs with with this table. Uh, paid 15 for the for the three. Um, for the three chairs. Also got this little end table here for five dollars. That'll be about fifteen dollars. Probably take that up to the flea market booth for that. That's all the yeah that's all the that's all the furniture I got and get to the little stuff now. Bought this printer. I've actually need a good working printer. Um, this is an Epson stylus printer. Don't know if it works yet or not. Paid six bucks for it, but even if it does, if it works, I'm going to keep it and I'll be able to print my shipping labels and other things out for things out now for for it. But if it doesn't work, I've got one, two, three, four boxes, brand new boxes of ink, and those will the three colors: the red, yellow, and blue, and then a black cartridge. So if the printer doesn't work, I've got because the printer's got ink in it now. So this is just extra ink. The printer doesn't work. This will get resold, and that'll make me a good profit on the printer. And then there's this stuff. I got this Craftsman rechargeable drill for two bucks. Um, have to charge it up, make sure it works. But two dollars, it was a good investment. To, to, it was a good risk to take because that'll be fifteen, twenty bucks to resell at the flea market. I uh, got this box of little Ziploc bags for two bucks. Um, use these a lot, putting small toys in them in the flea market. So th those are going to be kept. This is one of the crown jewels of the night though. Paid six dollars for this whole box. Don't really care about the other stuff in it. Uh, bought it for this TI-84 calculator. This is about a sixty, sixty-five dollar calculator on eBay. Clean it up a little bit. And that's a quick sell. Got some more dolls tonight. Got these two boxes for six dollars a piece. It's original Raggedy Andy, Raggedy Ann doll, new in a box. Well, I mean, it, it's not been really been played with, but it is a bit dirty. It's, the tags are still on it. That should clean up real. That that will probably clean up well though. Uh, main main reason I bought them was for all the Cabbage Patch dolls. These are all original early '80s Cabbage Patch dolls. I got even got one of the birth certificates with it, with one of them. Um, this is, I'm not sure what to make of this. This doll is a little boy that's anatomically correct. No idea why they would make that, but um, but it may be something that has a little bit of value. I'll have to do some research into that, but there's a couple more um, cabbage patches here. All, you know, about 30 years old. So those are going to bring some, some decent money on eBay. And then I bought this last little box right here. 
paid six dollars for this as well uh, there's an RF switch for a Nintendo 64 that's probably worth a little bit of something but you got more three DS games here. I'm gonna have to find somebody with a Nintendo DS to check these out. Uh, but I got Star Wars, Lego Star Wars 2, Mario Kart DS, and Baby Pals. And I looked these. Uh, I looked this one up, Mario Kart DS. It's worth about 15 bucks on eBay. And then there's some other little. Uh, there's some VTEC games in here. Got a Game Gear game. Don't know if that's worth anything. I got a couple of little. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games, cheapo digital camera, uh, little one gigabyte memory card. See if there's anything interesting on that. And then I got a iPod. Now it says iPod. I've never seen, I've never seen a, an iPod quite like uh, one of the iPods this small with a screen on it. I guess it's a legit iPod. I'm gonna have to look that up. And I'm gonna. Have to, I've got a cord to it somewhere because th there was something plugged into this. So I, I should be able to charge this tonight and check and see if it works. But if that's an actual, if that's really an iPod, that's probably, there's going to be a little resell value in that. Uh, but a pretty good haul tonight. Uh, it's been $126 and uh, the two filing cabinets and the and the calculator makes me back about 160 bucks. Everything else is complete profit. Um, and a lot of it looks like. So I had a good night with the auction. Now the contest winner. Of course the contest le test last week was to guess what I paid for the left chair. This left chair I got for just twelve dollars and fifty cents. So the winner of the contest was Alex A who guessed ten fifty. He was only off by two bucks. Uh, I emailed him just before I started the video. He's going to send me his. Alex, be sure to send me your all your information. I'll get your uh, the cap and the DVD in the mail uh, to you this week. So that's what I got this week. Uh, thanks for watching the video, everybody. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Uh, check me out on Facebook, which I'll link below. Follow me on Twitter at at Auction Picker, and uh, be sure you come back for uh, next week's video. Um, Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great night.